Okay, so I'm just going to go over the basic formation that Floresville uses. They have a goalie, of course, in the goal box, which is represented by the red. And then they have a sweeper, which is not used in modern football. The reason a sweeper is not used in modern football is because it allows anyone in this space to not be offside. You can have wingers play behind and not be offside. So essentially, rule number one when you play with the sweeper defense is that these players always, always, always have to drop back with their man. They can never let the man go by them. Second of all is the center backs have to stay in the center and the wings have to come down and support to defend the wings or if the center back goes out then the mids have to come down so there's only two ways to play this this type of formation if you if you let your wings stay up and you say our wings are going to stay up and when they come down their wings come down what are you going to do so we have the opponent's wing here and the opponent's wing here so as they come down and they come down, the question is who's going to pick these players up? If you have a center back, go pick them up. You're leaving a huge space for other players to play into. And let's move all the players up. So we're going to have the, you got the opposing goalie in the back. He usually moves up when they have the ball. And then you have the four that stay in the back usually. You got your three midfielders moving in. And then you got your striker. You got your their left wing and their right wing okay so like I said before if the center back comes out if the right center back comes out to take this player on now you have a huge gap and that's a problem if this player tries to fill it and this player tries to fill it and cover down now you have too much space here for this player just waiting for the ball so to make that simpler there's really only two things that can happen here. Number one, if you want your center backs to go out and cover this wing, the mids have to drop. And you're probably gonna need two mids, but you need at least one. You're gonna need probably two to cover the width of the field. Otherwise, they have too much space. But you see how the wings go out? If the center backs go out with them, you have to have two mids come back. So once again, you start out with your formation, your Floresville, you line up, the game starts, the opponent gets the ball, they're dribbling, they have a midfielder who has the ball. Now here comes a wing to the outside. If the center back goes to cover the wing, if that's how you want to play it, the mid has to drop down. Same thing on the other side. If the center back goes out to the wing, the mid has to drop down. And so you'll just have one mid, the attacking mid in the center. That's the only way to play this. And of course, they have to go as deep as that sweeper is. They always have to stay with their man. If this guy runs by, you always have to stay with him. Because the sweeper keeps everybody on side. So that's number one. The first way to play defense on the wings, the first way is... If you're going to use your center back to play the wing, then you have to drop mids. That's lesson number one. If you say, we're not going to do that, maybe your wings are too high, and then there's a change of possession and the ball comes down. The second way to play, if you're not using your center backs to cover the wings, which I don't think you should, use your wings to cover the wings. So you have your mids covering the center of the field. And now this is really a wing back, not really a, a forward, more of a wing back. And wing backs can go all the way up, but they know they have a defensive responsibility. Now, when you have this wing go up and down, you have the wing follow. Same thing on the other side. When this wing comes down, you have a wing that follows. And now there's they can be tight and compact in the middle. And the reason why they, these three, these need, this group needs to be tight and compact is because the other teams often have good dribblers and one needs the pressure and one needs the cover. 
So if they do a move and the ball comes out, they can pick it up. Otherwise, they can dribble through one, they can dribble through two, they can dribble through three. They'll just dribble through everyone as individuals. When you play defense, one is always pressuring, one is always covering, and one is always providing balance. But this way you can defend the center. So once again, the second way to play and defend the wings in this formation that Floresville uses is when their wing comes down, our wing has to stay with them. Same thing on this side. Their wing comes down, our wing stays with them. Now our center backs, their responsibility is defensive in the center. And another thing is to stay back. These three center backs are primarily defense. So if one of them gets pushed up field too far for some reason, they're leaving a huge gap of space. So they really need to play together. Like I said before, this sweeper is not used in modern soccer, but middle schools use them and some high schools, including Floresville, uses the sweeper. And so the sweeper's entire job is to never let the goalie be one-on-one. -on -one. That's the purpose of the sweeper, to never have the goalie be one-on-one. -on -one. So he's like a backup. The, the disadvantage is you have all the space on either side of the sweeper that is not offsides. And that's why when you play with the sweeper, how you play defense on the wings is critical. One more time, there's two ways to play. Floresville lines up with a sweeper, three center backs, three midfielders, and they say three forwards maybe, but really you have two wings and you have a striker. Now, if you choose to play the center back out on the wing so that you can keep your your wing your right wing as more forward for more offensive options if you play this center back out the midfielder has to drop in the same thing on this side if you keep your wings up front and this player you expect this center back to cover them the midfielder has to drop in to help that has to happen so that's option number one when you're playing the game. Option number two is you have the wings play the wings. So now when this player, this player's up, he's involved in offense, there's a transition. You move from offense, now you lose the ball, and now your defense, you turn right around and you run back with the player on the wing. Same thing on this side, always watching, thinking about the transition and coming back down to defend the wing. And remember, they can move all the way down here. And when they do, these three need to keep in mind that one always has to step up to press the ball. And because you have four back here and you have the wings covered, you can do that. Never let a player be here in this space shooting. One can step up as long as you maintain the pressure and cover all four of them together. But at the same time, you never want the center back to move up out in too far where they can come in to the space that's left behind. So these center backs have to be really smart, communicate, and stay compact. Staying compact means you stay close enough together because if you're spread out on the field like this, it just takes one ball handler to go, uh, I got by you, now I get by you, now I score. It's too easy for them. There's a lot of skilled players. When you stay compact, he doesn't move on you. He has to push the ball away from his body. That's when you save the ball. And if he does another move and gets it past you, that's when the sweeper helps out. So this group of four here really needs to work together. Like I said, modern soccer does not include the sweeper because of the disadvantage of all of this space being on side. But since we play with one, this is the way we play. Either the wings cover the wings, which I prefer, to allow the center backs to play more centrally. Or if you have great coordination and these mids know their jobs, then if the center back does come out, the mid has to drop. Otherwise you're exposed. Every single time has to drop, has to drop. Same thing on the other side. The wing comes down. If you have your wing playing up and you wanna keep them there, you want your center back to come out, mids have to drop. So those are your two options. If you use center backs on the wings, mids have to drop. If you use wings on the wings, now you can keep compact in the center 
and the mids can play for options forward. Any questions, let me know.